The holiday season can be a unique journey, full of unexpected moments and precious lessons. I remember once years ago, as I navigated shopping with my son, I couldn't help but notice the overwhelming commercialism that surrounded us. The sensory overload, the constant temptation to buy impulsively. It can be challenging, especially when impulse control is a struggle already. I found myself caught in moments of shame and frustration as my son yearned for things in the store. But in those moments, I've learned something profound. It's about redefining the shopping experience. I asked my son if he'd like to go window shopping with me to simply enjoy the sights and not make any purchases. His enthusiasm was heartwarming. We explored the store and when he saw something he really wanted, we examined it closely. We read the details and we talked about it. And then a pivotal moment. As he desperately wanted an item, he witnessed another family happily buying it. And the longing in his eyes was palpable. Palpable, it's a difficult word. He felt torn, overwhelmed by the desire for instant gratification. Rather than giving in, I empathized with his struggle. I recognized the magnitude of his feelings and the sense that this moment might never end for him. And I simply said, Rylan, I'd buy you the world if I could. And we moved on. And he found a way to distract himself by exploring some men's accessories. It was a, such a beautiful moment of self-regulation and resourcefulness. I celebrated his choice and we continued our window shopping adventure. This experience reminded me of the power of compassionate curiosity, not only towards our loved ones, but also towards ourselves, expecting the unexpected and embracing it without judgment empowers us to stay present in the face of the unpredictability. I long and want and desire this world to be a nurturing place, not just for my son, but for all children. And I recognize it starts with me as his mom, choosing enduring connection wherever we are, even in the most challenging moments.